Yep, 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 yep. Y'all know what it is. It's Friday. It's Friday. Yes, the Eagles don't play on Sunday, but we do play Monday night football against the Washington, whatever their name is. Don't give a damn. Don't care. But this is what you need to care about. The free giveaway, y'all. The free giveaway is going to be how many receiving yards A.J. Brown is going to have against the Washington Commanders. He's been balling. It's been up and down. So you got to kind of choose where you're going to go with it. He can have a three-touchdown game for the 156 yards. Or he can have a one-touchdown game for 80 yards. Y'all got to choose. But the person that comes the closest to the receiving yards, they get the Frilly Fresh hoodie or the Yoda hoodie. If I get 50 comments, 50, and, 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 and this is on Monday, so this is an extra day for people to comment, I would throw in a Frilly Fresh or Yoda hat. It's so easy. All you got to do is comment below. Free merch. Yo, that. A G L E S. Eagles! Eagles! Say fly, Eagles, fly. Fly, Eagles, fly. Fly, Eagles, fly. <laughs>
we know what Pierce just did to us over there with the Texans. You don't want these guys, and they've been doing that as a tandem lately, especially the last game against, who was it, Minnesota? Brian Robinson Jr., 13 carries, 44 yards. Um, and then you got uh, Antonio Gibson, who I, I, who, who I like, not going to lie to you, uh, 36 yards. I don't know what happened to uh, McKisson. I think he's still hurt. I don't know if he's coming back, whatever the case may be. But that's another guy that they can throw at you. And these guys are versatile. It's, it's certain things that they can do. You got to make sure that you stop the run. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm looking at the defensive co uh, coordinator and Jonathan Gannon. My eye is on you on this game. You can't keep putting on game tape for other teams that have better rosters and better quarterbacks saying that you can just run all over us. Because that's what it looked like against the, te uh, against the uh, te um, Texans. Sorry. You can't put it on tape for the Titans. You can't put it on tape for Dallas. You can't do that. You have to make sure that you shut down a run and make a statement Monday night while everybody is watching. All right? Now the do. We have the good in this category, and yes, a fumble happened against the Texans. I get it. I understand it. But we only got three takeaways on our side. We only got three turnovers, should I say. You have to make sure that you control the ball. You have to make sure that you take care of the ball. No turnovers. We won't need to see turnovers. Another do. Jordan by a lot. Of, like you a lot, but I'm looking at this tape and people are starting to run around you. You got to get that fixed. You have to get that fixed. I understand Jalen Hurts, yes, he can run and he can get out of trouble. But he wants to sit back in the pocket. He don't want to run. You can tell. He actually wants to throw the damn football. Get his man a chance to throw the football. Um, let's go to a don't. You don't want to let these guys. I know it's 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 it's, it's not impossible for it to happen, but you don't want to let them even score in the first half. Get up big on these guys from the rip. Don't let them get in the consistency of uh, uh, of Heineke getting into a rhythm. Heineke is really a rhythm quarterback. So when you look at it, when he played the Vikings, right? And it was a close game. We're not going to sit here and act like it wasn't. It was a close game. Heineke came in. He did a stick. But he only had 15 completions, um, 28 attempts for 149 yards. Two touchdowns, though. One interception. So this is another do. Get after that guy. But this guy can run. We're not going to sit here and, and and I said this, uh, I said this in my last video. Dual quarterbacks are the new thing in the NFL, and it's hard to control them. But you got to put a hat on the hat. You got to make sure if this guy runs, you hit him. Josh Sweat, dude, I need to see you. I need to see you. I need, I need you to get off that milk, milk carton. You have not been flashing. You have not been dominating. You got paid. I need you to dominate. I need you to dominate. <sighs> so when you look at the rest of, really, the roster, I'm pretty sure Darius Slay, this is a dude, is going to be on Scary Terry. They call him Scary, but he ain't been scary. Shut him down. Lock him up. Won't let him out. Yeah, I need that. Curtis Samuel. Brad, Brad, that's on you. I don't. I don't need you to play like how you played in the beginning of the Houston game. I don't know what was going on, but you was missing some things. You was getting double move, and that's not like you. Another do. Tackling. And this is probably the most important do. Tackling needs to be better. Even Darius Slate, I had a problem with some of the tackling. Hit, hit, hit. Don't get lazy. Don't get lazy. Don't get, don't get in your bag because, oh, we eight and oh. No, we trying to go nine and oh. 
Don't get complacent of where you're at. Put a hit on these guys. Let them know y'all not even in our bracket. It's a reason why your record is what it is, and it's a reason why we about to go 9-0. and up. That's what I need from this team. If we do these things, we should beat the Washington Commanders handily. Handily. And become 9-0. and up. If it's something I miss that y'all think, do's and don'ts, give me a do, give me a don't, whatever. I'm all here for it. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, y'all, man. Oh, come on, man. Stay Philly, stay fresh, y'all. Yo, that.